Hi, Year 9, welcome. Um, this is, um, the, uh, uh, as you can see, it's um, GCSE options, and this is um, whether you should um, take history. Now, you know, obvious I'm very subjective and biased as head of history, um, and I would, of course, say yes, but um, you, you, need to, you need to consider things in your process. Um, and really, these are the three things I would think about. Do employers value history? Well, I can tell you straight off, they absolutely do. Many very, very good jobs. People have studied history. And, and, you know, all the way to degree level. So, you know, lawyers, um, journalists, um, you know, uh, politicians, um, bosses of sort of companies, things like that. Many of these people have it. What can, and, you know, I, I, I would consider that one. I mean, the answer's fairly obvious. These two as well, I would also consider what can it do for you as a person? I think it can really develop your thinking. Very much so, because the thinking skills are key. Will you enjoy the content? Of course, I, I very much hope so. So, Really, what it can offer you is three things. Number one, career relevance. And that's really what I've talked about already. As I've said, you know, it really does help the thinking and the development of thinking as well, which I think is so critical. That's actually what I like most about history. So, and you know, I, I would very much hope enjoyment as well, stimulating concert, content, teaching methods, things like that. And I'll go on to the content in a little bit more detail. I mean, that's fairly obvious. I would hope by now we know that history isn't just regurgitating, you know, re repeating facts. It's really being taught to think, make up your own mind, and using dedication and discipline to sort of make sure what you're saying makes sense because you're backing it up with um, good examples. So, you know, Really, employers today, they want all of this, okay? Independent, think open-minded, disciplined, hardworking, focused, good at problem solving, particularly important, and able to say, okay, what's important, what's not so important? These things, of course, all relate to, well, history, don't they? Um, so just to give back up what I was saying, that, you know, many prominent people have studied history, and this is all the way to degree level. Here's a list of a few, you know, and you can see all the way from football commentators to CEOs, um, <clears throat> to directors of banks, to politicians, um, to, you know, the Louis Theroux, to comedians, and sort of so on and so forth, and, 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 and indeed musicians as well. So you can really see, and these, of course, the universities they attended being referenced. Okay, so um, what you actually do in GCSE history lessons? Well, I mean, I would imagine quite a lot of those fa fairly obvious, you know, role plays, simulations, really important to do debate, well-reasoned argument. And, you know, as I said before, it's not just repeating the views of others, giving your own views and making them convincing by using the knowledge to back it up. Um, so what's in the actual GCSE? You know, I'm not going to lie to you. Of course, it's a demanding GCSE. Of course, there's plenty of essay writing, but none of that should put you off, okay? It, it, it really shouldn't at all. Um, and things like the 5% of the exam being in spelling, punctuation, grammar shouldn't put you off either because we make sure we train our students to do very, very well. And our results are very, very, very good. I'm very pleased year on year. And this includes the SPAG results. We get well, well well above the national average because we make sure people are using the subject specific terminology, the language to get those high marks. So what you actually study, and I have to do this rather quickly because I'm sort of seeing from my time, I've only got a minute left. So um, paper one, this is what you start off of year 10. Our year 10s are, are pretty much most of the way through this by now. So we do medicine in in, in through, throughout the ages, so important. Look at decent individuals who actually did good things. Because so much of history, you look at terrible individuals who didn't do terrible good good things. So to look at people who did good things is so 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 good. Look, you know, Louis Pasteur and his germ feeding, Marie Curie and radiotherapy, Alexander Fleming with petri dishes and penicillin. We also look at the impact on um, World War One, but from a medical point of view. So you can use some of the stuff you're doing this year, but take it further. Paper two, we do Elizabeth. You'd be very familiar with that from year eight. We take it much further. And very simply, we look at the American West. So really very moving, the destruction of the way of life of Native Americans. Finally, to finish off, we look at Weimar and Nazi Germany. And we look at how it was possible for essentially a democracy like Weimar Germany in the 1920s come transformed into dictatorship with one of the world's most evil people, Adolf Hitler. Thank you for listening.